Hello, children. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to write a review. By the end of this lesson, I hope you will be able to 1. Read a review of a tourist attraction 2. Use also and to to give additional information and 3. Write an email to give recommendation about a place. It's going to be an interesting lesson, so I hope you stay tuned until the end of the lesson with me. Hi Yusuf, what are you up to? Are you playing computer games? No uncle, I was reading this review about Sherlock Holmes Museum, written by Sarah. She and her family went there on their vacation last week. Oh, Uncle, I really wish I could visit that place one day. You know how I love Sherlock Holmes' murder mysteries. Was it really interesting? Let me read the review. Last weekend, my family and I visited the Sherlock Holmes Museum in London. It's small but interesting. It's got a shop for visitors too. The museum is like the home of Sherlock Holmes, the main character from the famous detective stories. You could look around the different rooms. You could see lots of his possessions too. You could also meet characters from the books, but they were really actors. My favorite thing was the museum shop which was very good value. There were also some good books to buy. The only problem was that the museum was very busy. We waited half an hour just to buy tickets. Wow, she's so lucky to be able to get the tickets to enter the museum. This place seems amazing. Let me search for the website. Hey Yusuf, I have a favour to ask you. What is it about, Sarah? I'll try my best to help you. My family plans to go on a trip for the school holidays next month. Can you recommend an interesting place for us to visit? I prefer somewhere near to the nature and wildlife. Uncle, it's Sarah. She's texting me to ask for a recommendation of a place to visit during the school holiday next month. She said she likes somewhere with nature and wildlife. Do you have any idea? Hmm... Let me see. Why don't you tell her about the place that we went last year? The Lost World of Tambu. Yes, I know she's never been there. I really love the theme park. We had so many amazing memories there. There's this one interesting place that I think you'll love. Have you been there before? Of course I have. Can you send me your review about the place via email? I need to attend my Google Classroom meeting in a few minutes. Talk to you later. Okay. Sarah asked me to write a review about that place, but I don't know how to. Uncle, you're a travel magazine editor. Teach me how to write a review. I really want her to see and experience the amazing things there. Don't worry. If you read Sarah's review about the museum, you'll find it easy to write one. Let's read through the review again and determine which paragraph carried these ideas. A. Give details about what you can do at the museum. B. Say what she liked and didn't like about the museum. C. Give some general information about the museum.
Now, identify which paragraph does Sarah give details about what you can do at the museum. Paragraph 2. Okay. Which paragraph does she say what she liked and didn't like about the museum? Paragraph 3. And lastly, which paragraph does she give some general information about the museum? Paragraph 1. Wow. Good job, Yusuf. Now, let's look at these words. Also and to. We use also and to to give more information about something. We use also after the verb be but before the main verbs. Look at this example. You could also meet characters from the books. We use to at the end of sentences. For example, it's small but interesting. It's got a shop for visitors too. Okay, Yusuf, look at the review again. Find more examples of sentences with also and to. Hmm. I found four. Do you understand now how to use also and to correctly? I think so. Are you sure? Let's try this exercise. I want you to rewrite the second sentences using the words in brackets. You could have a drink. You could have milk. You could also have milk. Okay. Young children will enjoy it. Teenagers will enjoy it. Teenagers will enjoy it too. The tickets were expensive. The cafe was expensive. The tickets were expensive. The cafe was also expensive. We enjoyed exploring the castle. We enjoyed exploring the gardens. We enjoyed exploring the castle. We enjoyed exploring the gardens too. Hey uncle, which tenses should I use in the review? Well, since you are writing about a place that you have been before, you must use past simple verbs to talk about your experience. For example, the museum was very busy. We waited half an hour to buy tickets. Okay, uncle. One more thing. Can you give me some words that I can use in my review? Sure, Yusuf. When you are describing a place, you can write about the good things and the bad things about the place. Look at some of the adjectives here. If you want to describe something positive, you can use attractive, having qualities that are pleasing or appealing. For example, for me, Venice is the most attractive city in Europe. Fascinating, interesting, captivating. Example, the museum has a fascinating collection. Peaceful, calm, free from stress. Example, it is so peaceful by the lake. Picturesque, attractive in appearance. Example, 
it was a pretty town with picturesque buildings scenic beautiful natural surroundings example they took the scenic route on the way home exciting fun with lots of enjoyable things to do example it was a really exciting event but uncle what if i don't like certain things about the place you can use negative adjectives for example dull boring uninteresting example many of the fundraising events were dull creepy unnatural causing feelings of fear example it was a creepy old house crowded full of people example by 10 o'clock the restaurant was crowded expensive costly having a very high price example i treated myself to a meal in an expensive restaurant unpleasant not attractive or enjoyable example there was an unpleasant smell coming from the drains This is great. I can use some of these words to describe the theme park. Now, I can start writing. Wait. There's one more thing that I want to tell you, Yusuf. You can also use could or couldn't to describe about the activities that Sarah can do there. could is a modal verb used to express possibility as well as to make suggestions and requests look at the examples from the review you could look around the different rooms you could see lots of his possessions too you could also meet characters from the books all right uncle Thanks for the additional information. Now, before you begin, let's put this writing process into a few stages. First, you need to have a plan. Choose an interesting place and make notes about it. Then, write. Write your review in three short paragraphs use your notes and the review we read just now as a reference to help you and lastly check your writing use also and to pass simple words could and couldn't well explain uncle Now it's time for you to write the review. Do you know what you need to include in your email? Um everything. I will tell her every single detail of my experience and activities. Not everything. You don't want to bore her with a lengthy explanation. When you write a review, just include suitable details to give others a feel for what has happened remember your mission is to persuade her to go there so what should i write i'll give you some questions to begin with what is the place what can you find there what activities you did with your family what activity 
or attraction you love most? Is there anything you dislike about that place? Well, I'm so excited to give her all the information. In your email, remember to include a review about the place. Suggest relevant activities for Sarah to do there. Add some other relevant information to make your writing more interesting. Okay, Uncle. Dear Sarah, what are you up to? I would like to recommend the Lost World of Tambun for your next holiday destination. We had some of our best family moments when we visited this place last year. That's my introduction. I just went straight to the point. Next, I should write about what I found interesting there. It's a nice water park located in Ipoh. We visited the park on a busy day, but the vast area didn't feel crowded. One of the attractions we love most at Lost World of Tambun is the petting zoo. You could get the chance to touch, feel, feed and play with the animals. I could even pet a giraffe on the head too. The rangers are so friendly. You could also see the animals are well looked after. I've written about good things about the place. What else should I add? Good, Yusuf. You can add about anything you dislike or any activities that you feel you should have tried there. There were also animal shows during the day, but we could not catch any. If you are interested to see the shows, Ask for the timings first. Make sure you don't miss them like we did. For the ending, keep it simple and sweet. You will definitely have great fun there. Hope this helps. I look forward to hearing from you. Your friend, Yusuf. I finished it. Well done, Yusuf. Now, let's check your writing. Did you use also and to? Did you use past simple verbs? Did you use could or couldn't? Nicely done! Don't forget to attach some pictures from your visit there in the email. I would like to recommend The Lost World of Tambun for your next holiday destination. We had some of our best family moments when we visited this place last year. It's a nice water park located in Ipoh. We visited the park on a busy day, but the vast area didn't feel crowded. One of the attractions we love most at Lost World of Tambun is the petting zoo. You could get the chance to touch, feel, feed and play with the animals. I could even pet a giraffe on the head too. The rangers are so friendly. You could also see the animals are well looked after. There were also animal shows during the day, 
but we could not catch any. If you are interested to see the shows, ask for the timings first. Make sure you don't miss them like we did. You will definitely have great fun there. Thank you for helping me, Uncle Shafiq. I wish you'd always be here to help me, especially with my homework. My pleasure. You can always count on me. Why don't you tell your friends out there what you have learned today? Hello, everyone. Did you enjoy the lesson? Let's recap on what we've learned today. In the beginning, we read a sample review of the Sherlock Holmes Museum, written by my friend Sarah. From the review, we learn how to give details about the place and mention about what we like or dislike about it. After that, Uncle Shafiq taught us some adjectives to describe places. He also helped us to write a review about the lost world of Tambun in a structured way. I hope all of you have gained a valuable knowledge from this lesson today. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Did you enjoy the lesson? Let's recap on what we've learned today. In the beginning, we read a sample review of the Sherlock Holmes Museum, written by Sarah. From the review, we learn how to give details about the place and mention about what we like or dislike about it. After that, Uncle Shafiq taught us some adjectives to describe places. He also helped us to write a review about the lost world of Tambun in a structured way. I hope all of you have gained a valuable knowledge from this lesson today. See you next time. Bye-bye.